The way we were raised was different from every youngster that ever lived. Well, maybe different in a small way. The difference would be the fine points of hope and intention. Most poor parents hope great things for their children. My parents intended for one of their children to control the universe. I grew up in high country near the base of a mountain called Storm King. It was a hard way to live, hard to find enough game, grow enough crops, bring unto you the things that ensured the family would see, spring with the same amount of chairs at the table as were there at the start of winter. I had a ma, a pa, six brothers, and two sisters. I had just turned eight when ma died. A man grown, according to uh, my pa. I was grown enough to keep both ends of a rifle off the ground, and, what, and I was expected to do a man's work. Twas a cold wind that came through Gunsight Gap from Boulder Valley, a major valley off Storm King, and a place of the mostly slow, sometimes instantaneous destructive, destructive power of nature. A valley full of rock chunks big enough to be called hills. Ma was out with Abram, my oldest brother, when the wind struck. It would come down with a sound of a hundred flash floods. Well, they were a long way off, and it took the entire day for Abram to bring her body in. From that day on, Pa became more than he ever had been. He became our anchor, our sky pilot, and the, the, the haven from the war we waged the day after we, we buried Ma below Sheep's Head Rock. The best view in these parts. You can see the other side of heaven from here, said my sister Bethany, the oldest girl. She was right. Storm King brought weather from all points, from land and sea. Storms were drawn to its peaks to be destroyed in a bout of red fire and lightning. Yet the view from the west of Sheep's Head seemed perpetually clear. My name was Isaac, and I was said I had just turned eight that year and been given my first rifle. An Arctic cap and ball over under, a two-shot gun, the only one in our family and by far the best weapon within a year's travel from these parts. One week before this day, Pa and I traveled up Prince Mountain. One side of us was Danger Canyon, the other side Boulder Valley. And in a cave on the day of my birthday, I was given this rifle and ate the last of our food and drank the last of our water. My Pa said, take us home, son. So I did. I was a to tolerable shot with my dad's rifle. With the Arctic, I was able to bark six squirrel without breaking their skins. A good squirrel barker will place the ball just below the belly of the squirrel, so the explosion of bark combined with the natural surprise of falling from. That's all I wrote. <laughs>